Hello, it's me Ashley and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Today guys, it is Face Mask Friday. Okay, so yeah, it's Friday and that can only mean one thing. It is Face Mask Friday. Um, my skin is not the best at the minute. I've had a few breakouts and things, which are quite unfortunate, but I think that's just a hormonal thing, which has been unavoidable. I've just had my eyebrows done. There are a couple of little bumps, but you can't really see those. So that's fine, but that's just one of those things as well. Um, so please excuse my face. It is what it is. <laughs> anyway, today I thought I would try um, well, a mask that I haven't tried myself before. And it is this one. It is the Water Peeling from Soap and & Glory. And in this set, we get two masks actually, but I'll only obviously be doing one today. <laughs> um, so this one then, it's a purifying declog mask with oil absorbing kaolin and clay powders with vitamin c and e and oolong tea it's got lentil seed sage chamomile and ginger extracts and i just thought it sounded like it's probably good when my skin's a little bit iffy at the minute well not iffy it's not iffy it's fine it's on the mend it's just like i said it was a hormonal thing but anyway i just thought this sounded good i am rambling sorry um so Basically, it's a peel off mask, so that's a lot of fun. Um, Lady said, No, it's the best peel off mask she's ever used. High claims, lady. So, on the back, it's pretty much you wash your face, which is what I've just done. If my eyes are a little red, I did get a little water in my eyes, but that doesn't usually happen either. It's obviously one of those days today. Um, so, yes, we uh, wash our face. Pop the mask on, we wait 20 to 25 minutes, peel it off, then wash our face. Hopefully, it'll be nice. It does say that you should leave it to dry so that it can lift off in one clear movement. Never had a face mask yet, a peel off one that did it in one clear movement, but it's yet to be seen. It's yet to be seen. Right, anyway, I'm going to open this packet. Okay, so it obviously lifts up at the back. And we get a little spatula doodah, which says short of time, you can multitask, task, do your chores while you declog your pores. Um, so here we are, our multitasking mask. It declogs pores, lifts away dirt and impurities, removes excess oil, purifies, smooths and brightens. It's a one peel wonder. So we get two little pots in here. Obviously today I'm only using the one, only have one face. I think the idea then is we'll just peel this back and then use this to kind of scoop in and spread around my face. So I will zoom, zoom, fast forward through me doing that. If I can get this open. Oh my goodness, that's really stuck down. There we go. Ooh, it's very pink. I was expecting it, it did look pink on there, but I was genuinely expecting it to be more of a translucent pink. But that's that's pink, that's cool. Right, let's give it a go then. It smells quite fruity. Quite runny too. Okay, so that kind of looks like I'm pretty much pink all over. A little bit on my hand too, but that's fine. I've used most of the thing. I didn't think it would actually be enough, but it seems like there's more than enough, so that's great. So I'm going to leave this for 20 to 25 minutes, and we will see what it's like in a bit. Probably when I come back, I won't be able to talk as well because it will have dried and tightened on my face. Hopefully, anyway, because that's how you pull off a peel-off mask. So let's see what it looks like in 20 to 25 minutes. 
Okay guys, so it has been about 22 minutes. Um, it's feeling a lot tighter. Oh, oh my dear, that doesn't feel... I touched, I touched a bit here and it did feel dry, but it doesn't feel so dry around here. Not like it's not leaving any marks, it just feels a bit tacky. That feels definitely dry. Yeah, that's mostly dry. I think just a couple of edges. I don't want to leave it on longer than 25 minutes because the last one that I left on a while, it hurt. So what I might do is I might start with the top because uh, that seems to be the driest and try and peel down. I'd usually try to peel up at the chin. Yeah. Still feels tacky. Yeah, it might, it might work. We can only give it a go, can't we? Let's see. Is it rolling rather than peeling? Hmm. Right, I'm gonna wait another two minutes and I will come back and I will peel it off. And if it doesn't peel off in one go, that's just it. I didn't put all of the um, mask on my face, there's still some left in the tub. So maybe I used too much, I don't know, but it did say that there was two uses in the thing and there's two separate pods, so. Okay, so it's been another couple of minutes. I've even got the packet and been fanning my face, hoping that it'll dry. But like I say, it's been like the 25 minutes now, so I don't want to leave it any longer than that. Um, it's still around here feels a little tacky, but there I feel a little drier. Oh, no, that's maybe a bad sign. Definitely not as painful as the last one I had. It's not coming off in one bit, but yeah, it's not as painful, so that's nice. Okay, I don't feel like the bits that are left are actually going to peel. That's still quite tacky. That's a little, like, yeah, you can rub that around. So I'm just going to give my face a quick wash and I'll be right back. Okay, so that was way harder to get off just washing my face than I thought it would be. I've actually had to cry in a scrub and I think there's still bits of pink left here and there. Um, but it is what it is. <laughs> So, it wasn't as unpleasant to peel off as my last face mask was. That one was quite painful. My face feels okay for that. Um, I don't know if it's my bad for painting it on so thick, but I did wait the 25 minutes and it was still tacky in areas. But like I said, that could be my fault. I do have another one, so I will give it another go and I'll maybe try and paint on a thinner layer. Maybe use half as much or something like that and we'll just see how that goes. I might film that if you want like a face mask Friday revisited and I'll let you know if I get on any better. But my face, other than it does feel sticky still because I don't think I got it all off probably, proper properly. <laughs> but I am going to give my face another wash in a minute. I just, I was scrubbing there for a bit and I was like, I don't want to hurt my face. <laughs> um, yeah, it was hard, so much harder to wash off than I thought. I was like literally really scrubbing at it with my flannel and it just wasn't budging. It was just smearing really. <laughs> Other than that, I'm guessing the peel off a bits did a good job of declogging and things. What was it? Yeah, that's what it said to do and purifying. So hopefully my skin won't stay too pink. Um, like I said, it's not too bad, but there are the odd patches of pink. I don't know if you can see. But you know, it's fun. It, it looked super cool. It was, it was very pink. <laughs> Anyway, guys, yeah, let me know if you want me to film me trying this again and I'll let you know how it goes then. But until my next video then, remember to hit that like button and give me a huge thumbs up if you've liked this video. And remember to subscribe if you haven't already. It'd be fantastic to have you here. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.